is everybody tonight? I'm glad to see all these, a lot of old faces and a lot of new faces, and it's great to see you guys turning out for this Circle and Honor event that we have here tonight. <clears throat> so, I would like to start off by saying, ladies and gentlemen, welcome. You know, I'm Captain Rick Murphy, and as it is my honor tonight to be your master of ceremonies for this event to where we're going to induct two fine anglers into Bonefish Tarpon Trust Circle of Honor. Those honorees are Billy Pate and Stu App. Two gentlemen, that's right. So, in 1987, I met Stu, and it was the first year of the Don Holly Tarpon Release Tournament. It had been a kill tournament up until that point, and I was fishing with one of Stu's classmates, a guy named Skip Soule, and Stu bought Skip and I in the Calcutta. So, the fourth day, at the end of the day of fishing, we would all report back to, at the time, it was Papa Joe's, and we'd turn in our scorecards, and Stu is waiting there for me at the dock. He goes, how how you doing so far in the tournament? And I said, not too good. I said, we're seeing a lot of fish, Stu. I said, but we just can't get them to bite. And, you know, we all know that Stu back then as well as today he keeps his wallet pretty close to his back pocket <laughs> so protecting his bad investment he invited me over to his house that was where I saw the two world record tarpon mounts in his house and to me that was truly truly amazing the next day or that evening or that afternoon he gave me three flies so we went out on the last day of the holly, got set up in the spot on the ocean that we'd been fishing the four previous days. And a school of fish comes and Skip makes a good cast and he strips a fly and the fly, fish comes up and eats the fly. And we hook this fish and we run down the fish and three minutes later I grab the leader and we break the fish off and we go back and get in position. So a few minutes later here comes another school of fish and we make a cast and strips the fly and we end up getting a bite and we go off to the races and four or five minutes later I grab the leader and break the fish off. Now, we had three magic flies, the app twos. Now we're down to one. A few schools of fish went by, we didn't really get to execute too well and we end up hooking a third fish. Now, we know we don't have any magic left if we break this fish off. So we chase that fish around for 30 minutes. Finally, I grab the fish by the face and we pull the fly out of him. We're really celebrating because we got three fish. They had none before this. And we, you know, still have our fly. Obviously, like in tarpon fishing, the tide changed. Fish quit coming and that was the end of our day. But that, for me, was truly amazing. So in 1999, my wife and I were on the way to an ultrasound to have our second child. And I said to her as we were driving, I said, you know, Kathy, if this child is a boy, what do you think about naming him after Uncle Stu? And she responded to me, you know, Rick, there's only one Stu. And I said, yeah, you're right. But she compromised and we named that child Colin Stewart Murphy. And to me, that was truly amazing. So why don't you guys welcome me, welcome Stu up to the top, because I know he's got a few things to say. Oh, Lordy. I, I almost don't know what to say, but I will start off by saying that now that I'm rapidly approaching my 90th birthday, I knew it would be difficult for me to remember things that I want to say, so I wrote them down. I hope you don't mind my reading it. These, these last few years have made me realize, as my time to leave this world is approaching, that I have lived a charmed life. I really have. That the monetary things we leave behind are mostly not important. 
in the basic scheme of things. But that legacy is extremely important. This Bonefish Tarpon Trust Ring of Honor that is being bestowed on me this evening is most, in it, most certainly the type of legacy that I could ever hope for. I have often tried to count my blessings. I was blessed with having the most understanding and great, greatest parents in the whole world. Blessed by being born in the laid back little town of Miami in 1930. Further blessed by being the second born, which meant that I had a great brother, one I could look up to and try to follow in his footsteps. I've been asked many times about how I got started fishing. I'm sure most of you have been asked that too. First off, my parents never fished, so I had to be my older brother Marvin, who first taught me how to make a hook out of a straight pin, tied onto some of my mother's sewing thread, and make dough balls out of white bread. Which brings me to my first fishing trip. It was 1935, and I was five years old, when I snuck through the hibiscus edge into our next door neighbor's property. They had a large goldfish pond. <laughs> Using my latest high-tech fishing tackle, sewing thread, straight pin, and dough balls, I proceeded to learn firsthand about the art of angling. The only downside to this fishing trip was my next door neighbor caught me and took me home to my mother. I'll not tell you what transpired next. During my blessed life, my blessed life, I've had the opportunity to get to know quite a number of fantastic people. Captain Rick Murphy's whole family called me Uncle Stu, and Rick gave me the distinguished honor, as you already know, of naming his second son, Colin Stewart, after me. Rick and I have been fishing together for more than 30 years. With Rick as my guide, we did numerous TV shows and videos together. And with the help of Steve Stanley, an esteemed BTT board member, Steve, where are you? Stand up. Woo. Thank you. An esteemed board member, while fishing the BTT Backbone Fishing Tournament out of Ocean Reef Club, we won the Team Division Championship four years in a row, and there were at least 80 anglers fishing each of these tournaments, and that was because of Rick Murphy as our guide, putting us to the fish. Many thanks to my dear friends, Greg Moffat and Jeff Huckabee, for all the support they and help they have given me in Bonefish Tarpon Trust. Please stand up. Thank you, thank you. And my thanks to you all for being here this evening. I love you all. Thank you.